Esta conferencia comenzará a grabarse. Welcome, bonjour uh, to everybody. Uh, today we are going to uh, analyze, speak and dialogue about uh, the uh, creative and cultural industries. Okay, on the on the framework of the 14 uh, industrial ecosystems that the European Commission is uh, or are um, studying. Okay, so for doing that, we have with us today uh, Romanas Matulis Matulis from the Vilnius Film Cluster. Thank you, Romanas. Lucy Renault from Samoa. Bonjour. And David Gal Regnes from Minalogic. Bonjour, David. Uh, the skin of our session is always the same, or near always the same. We, we you will have something like 10 minutes to uh, to share with us um, your ideas, okay? And um, we will open the uh, floor for uh, the questions and comments and suggestions from the rest of the attendants after your speeches. Uh, uh, the proposal for today is to uh, not to analyze what has happened in the past with the COVID, okay? But we are now looking to the future, especially to what can be done in the context of the new European recovery plans. So the proposal is to think about uh, what can uh, clusters on the creative and cultural industries do for the recovery of uh, the recovery of Europe and also to make us stronger, more resilient, also more green and circular. Okay, so thank you again and uh, we will start with uh, Romanas Matulis. Welcome Romanas. Should I give you the presentation right? Yes, thank you. Okay. Just for half it. Just a moment. Antonio, I just uh, should leave and relaunch uh, my my program because uh, this okay. private private section though. So uh, okay. maybe maybe can, you can yeah. just proceed yeah. with with another one, and I uh, will join. Okay, we will do that. Thank you, thank okay. you, Romanas. Thank so, Lucy, you. don't you uh, do you mind to start with your presentation? No, 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 I don't mind. <laughs> Just a few Thank minutes you. ahead. <laughs> It's part of our uh, of your essence. You, we are creative and uh, another table. <laughs> so, uh, Lucy uh, from uh, Samoa, I will give you the presentation rights. Okay, I have it. Um, Perfect. So you can see. Yes, but not in the full screen mode. Could, could you All put right. it in full screen? Yes, just a moment. Uh, how do I do that? I think it's at the, yeah, there. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, I don't think that we are seeing it completely. No, something is no, not I don't, right. Yeah, I don't know why. It's just a, there's a green uh, a green frame that uh, that appears. If and, not, uh, I don't know. The, the, the image is not complete. If not, don't mind. I I would say that it's uh, better if you go back to the previous view. Otherwise, should I send it to you? I have it ready to be yes, sent. Please, Otherwise, please, please. 
So uh, can I send it to, to Nina? I've been in contact with Nina before. I don't think I have your uh, uh, email address. Let me check if Nina uh, has put it in the... Uh, no. no, no, but can I, I, can I send it now to Nina? Yeah. Yes, Is you can send it to me, please. of course. All right, yeah. perfect. Please. Oh. Okay, so no problem. We will... So we will. I'm, I'm here again. <laughs> 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 so we got go back to Romanas, Lucy. Okay, and let's let's and try. Right. Yeah, we will. We will. Let's try. Thank you, thank you. So Romanas, so, you are representative uh, presentator now. Okay. So, do you see the presentation on screen? Mm, I see a blank screen at this moment. I don't know why. I, I blank. Must, yes. And now? No. Hmm. Are you sharing hmm. your full screen? I can see the preview. Now I now now I am seeing your. Uh, PowerPoint, but if, if okay, you put so it, and, and now, now no, Nina, do you see the blank screen also? Or? Okay, I only see white. Yeah. So, if uh, Romanas, we yes. could see it in the other uh, mode, in the in the normal PowerPoint mode. Don't don't change to full screen. Okay. Okay, I will end the show. So yeah. you see me. Yeah, it's good enough. Don't mind. Okay. You, I don't mind. Right. Thank you. So I'm starting. Um, I'm Romanos Matulis from Vilnius Film Cluster, which is actually in Vilnius, the capital of Lithuania. And I will share our experience, how we uh, try to, 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 to be active, uh, to support the CCI ecosystem in Lithuania while uh, the COVID uh, quarantine and all the pandemic stuff uh, just took place uh, earlier earlier this year. So uh, a little bit of statistic just uh, just to <clears throat> to compare um, uh, European Union and Lithuanian uh, creative and cultural industries. So, according to the Cultural Creators Friendship Group, uh, the CCI, the third largest employer in, in the EU, uh, creating over uh, 20 million full-time jobs, which is 7.5% uh, of total EU jobs, and uh, also generating um, above 500 billion in GDP, which is uh, five uh, and three percent of total EU GDP. In Lithuania it's slightly uh, uh, twice less, we are still growing, but I should say that some statistics are outdated and uh, this is another old problem of uh, creative and cultural industries because uh, we have very few statistic, uh, statistics on the contribution of CCI to the economy and uh, all of them are fragmented, so I, I believe that uh, this is one of the problems that we we could uh, we could uh, solve in the future. So uh, sh just briefly about the impact of the COVID on film industry, everybody uh, of actually knows that uh, the activities of all cinemas and film distributors and and, and film festivals uh, had been paralyzed uh, and. Um, Sorry, just a moment. Yeah, and um, all the international film and TV series and project have come to a halt uh, along the, with the travel ban. And actually, this is a, still a problem with a second wave of the of the uh, pandemic. And we we are now currently experiencing some problems uh, with the uh, international multinational crews. Who actually arrived here in Lithuania 
and should uh, self isolate themselves for two weeks and uh, so of course everything uh, everything is not so easy but it, but we still we still uh, uh, do the the the, the filmings and uh, and uh, you will see actually our projects uh, maybe in the next year on the Netflix and HBO etc. So um, almost uh, uh, Seventy-nine percent of industry was forced to suspend all operation completely, and uh, the overall uh, losses, the direct losses, were four million, and uh, the lost revenue was about seventy million. So, uh, and it's only on the film industry. It's not not like in CCI. In CCI, of course, it's much much bigger. Yes, and um, uh, actually, I did not find the CCI among the priorities in the European recovery plan presented. So, uh, as well, uh, initial anti-crisis anti -crisis aid measures of uh, our local Lithuanian government were designed to support traditional industries mostly. Uh, thus, we just took the initiative and then proposed the package of the new measures for the creative industries uh, directly. And the workflow was like like that. that several surveys were just conducted uh, to determine the actual impact of the COVID pandemic on CCI industries. And of course, what what was especially especially important to uh, to know the current needs of the sector, what they what they need actually uh, first, uh, what 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 support. On the basis of this information, we gathered several letters um, uh, and sent, gathered to prepare several letters and sent to government and Ministry of Economy and, uh, and Innovation and the Ministry of the Culture. And uh, as a result of this, uh, we were invited to join the working group of the Ministry of Culture, um, actually dedicated to combat with the consequences of the COVID and CCI sector. Uh, so all the all the summer, actually, we participated in the working group together with other NGOs of of, of creative industries, and several urgent uh, financial aid measures were developed and included in the government's so-called plan for DNA of the future economy. So it was like Antonia said, it was not uh, about the past; it uh, it was about the future. So, and um, I will just follow to these uh, <clears throat> instruments that we just created um, on a national basis. So, uh, what were identified that uh, the, we, we got a, quite a big problem that our design developers uh, in the CCI sector uh, are underused. So they could get, develop design solution and then contribute to, to development of the digital or circular economy projects and services business processes uh, in all traditional SMEs and increase their added value. So the instrument was uh, created and called Creative Checks COVID-19 uh, and uh, the, with a total uh, amount of 7 million uh, euro of support. And the objective was to encourage uh, SMEs to invest in original product solutions, uh, not uh, necessarily non technological innovations, uh, to develop uh, services provided by individuals and legal entities operating in CCI. So, in short, just to, to use the CCI sector to create their, their new products and to ensure much needed financial circulation in the CCI sector as well as motivate the businesses to use creative services. The second was uh, identified that uh, some of the culture industry and, and culture and creative industry sector uh, has an outdated infrastructure and, and old equipment and or, or just complete lack of, of, of the equipment. So um, uh, we created an incentive to improve uh, the infrastructure and equipment of uh, CCI enterprises and then the total sum is uh, 4 million euros to increase. Actually, the objective was to increase added value created by CCI sector by promoting the change 
uh, of uh, SMEs activities at all. To, to just not to do the same things, but to develop new digital economy services and products, accelerate the digitization of business processes and solutions, expand the range and diversity of currently provided cultural creative services, uh, by modernization of the infrastructure and equipment. <clears throat> and the third instrument uh, was, <clears throat> uh, the problem was the, the lack of, of the products itself, and not just the products, but the content. So all of us during the pandemic and the quarantine uh, actually uh, uh, felt this uh, uh, hunger for for new uh, for new content for for new maybe series for new uh, for new films uh, maybe for new computer games for something because the the demand uh, raised such significantly that uh, that um, all the uh, content providers were in trouble to what to, what uh, new products to to offer for for market so we think that uh, we should support uh, uh, the creation of the new products and services because uh, in in the future we believe that demand will grow uh, higher and higher. So the instrument was an incentive for CCI sector to develop competitive content products and services. And we're talking about creating preconditions to develop this high value added and competitive uh, uh, content products with advanced technological, advanced technological and digital equipment and software and focusing on the quality and relevance of the cultural content based on the European and Slovenian culture values. Yes, and these were just three three instruments that we created with the Minister of Culture and 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 sent to the government that it was approved, and we are now just uh, uh, waiting for for some uh, improvement. Uh, but of course, other support was provided by government as well, and um, uh, in order to reduce the consequences uh, of the spread of the COVID, the government has already allocated for more than 30 million euros to the Lithuanian CCI sector. And the, the, the bigger part, uh, 22 million euros, were distributed to, to over 1,000 projects and scholarships and uh, compensatory payments to self-employed freelancers and uh, subsidies to cover the losses of organizers of cancelled events in Lithuania and abroad. Um, 2.7 million euros were allocated to, for the preparation and production on 59 films and uh, support actually, direct support for cinema theaters and uh, for film distributors uh, was um, in total almost uh, 3 million euros. So. Like in summary, the actions taken by Vilnius Film Cluster to keep the authorities updated with the current situation and the film industry and the active participation of ours in the ministerial working groups helped to develop immediate effective measures and to support the industry, um, um, support industry's prompt recovery from the shock and uh, gave the time to CCI SMEs to reorient or reorganize the plans and activities or just reschedule events, etc. And I believe the most important is that financial sustainability and viability of the whole sector has been preserved. So thank you, that's all. You are very welcome, Romana, and congratulations for the, your activity during this crisis and your approach and also the results as we were speaking before starting the recording of the session Lithuania is doing really really well congratulations to all of you so now we Thank go you. for France uh, bonjour uh, welcome uh, Lucy we will try bonjour. now uh, see <laughs> if we can uh, should we should we try again or should I um, use your presentation. I think it will be better. So I sent, I sent the presentation under PDF format. Okay, I, I'm looking for the email. Sorry, I, I forgot to check before. Here it is. Here it is. Yes. 
OK. Perfect. Let me just open it. Uh, I don't know why I have problems with my, my, OK. Let me now. OK, now I will share my screen and I think that everything will be perfect. Now, please go on, Lucy. All right, great. I can see my uh, presentation. Thank you. <laughs> so um, so I'm Lucy Renou. So I'm an international project manager for the Samoa in Nantes. So um, maybe just a few words on the Samoa itself. So can you just move down to the next slide, please? Thank you. Uh, so the Samoa is actually um, uh, what we call um, uh, um, a public local enterprise in French. So it means that it's a private uh, enterprise, but it was created by the uh, public authority, the Metropolitan Authority, and is also controlled by only public um, uh, agents and stakeholders. So uh, we are private, but with a public mission. And so our mission is twofold. So the first one, the historical one, is the uh, urban planning of a large piece of land in Nantes, so um, France, the west of France, northwest of France. And the second one is uh, the support to the development of the cultural and creative industries. So two different missions that could uh, seem different, but actually very uh, complementary. Uh, we can move to the next slide, please. And the next. So this is the uh, the island, the Ile de Nantes, the center. And so you can move to the next and then even skip it, if I think. So this is the plan, the urban plan. And so, yes, uh, just a word to say that we, uh, of course, uh, rely on strong uh, sustainability standards. And so we have what we call a manifesto for sustainability. So that is uh, based on four items that are really uh, leading the urban project. Um, you can move to the next one as well. Thanks. And so uh, historically, actually, um, the urban redevelopment project really uh, worked and succeeded because there has been strong focus and ambition put on cultural activity and creativity uh, in the city and on the island. So there were uh, a large uh, number of artists and cultural entrepreneurs that were able also to revitalize this uh, area and um, and really revive the island and so the urban project also really strongly relied on this and that's why the Samoa has the second mission which is the the development of the cultural and creative industries on the territory of uh, the island but also larger on the regional uh, area so we can move to the next uh, one. So um, we really have a dedicated team for the, um, the development of the cultural and creative industries inside the Samoa. And so we've been working to really develop them and concentrate all these uh, cultural and creative actors around a creative district. So there is now a creative district on the island which is about 30 hectares. And so uh, they gather a lot of um, actors that are, we group into three different categories. So either higher education and research, such as architectural school, cinema school, and so on. Um, uh, also um, public establishment for culture, like um, concert halls or other cultural activities and leisure. And then um, uh, working spaces for cultural and creative entrepreneurs or workshops for artists and, and so on. So uh, that are the three colors for the creative district here. So you can move to the next one, please. And so our uh, economic development team really provides um, four, let's say, uh, services to develop really the, to support the creative entrepreneurs in cultural activity. So the first one being real estate and office space. As we are, we are an urban planner first, we, we have um, space at our disposal. So we're able to provide um, cheap 
uh, office space for entrepreneurs so that they can launch their activity and then tailor-made uh, spaces for when they grow bigger. Then we provide business support through various programs, being incubators, accelerators, and, and so on. We provide also events, of course, for networking reasons or reflection and creativity, and uh, open innovation to link our startups and entrepreneurs to large companies or do open innovation project to, to really uh, build a collective effort. Uh, so you can move to the next one. Uh, and then maybe skip all of them. There are our key, we have uh, real estates based on 13 locations. And then the next one shows uh, how many projects we support for per year. So the next slide shows uh, all how we, uh, we organize the cultural and creative industries. We separate them into cultural projects and creative projects. And so we support strongly around 80 um uh, uh business project per year so the next one please and so we are able to carry out what we call experimentation and open innovation on the island and going as um, far as settling uh, prototypes on public space that are developed jointly by uh, industrial um, companies that have a solution to be tested creative entrepreneurs that have um a concept or an idea that can work with the industrial partners and so our uh, most recent one is the the cloud that you can see in the middle which um, uh, changes color based on the air quality of uh, of the air around in the city based on, on captors that were set all right i will move forward the next slide please um, we also have, uh, as I said, space for creative entrepreneurs, but um, also um, uh, we'll be developing a large ensemble, a large campus around the cultural and creative industries that have that has started already. And I will keep the, these slides just to be a bit faster because I can see time moving on. <laughs> Sorry, so that's the next last slide because I don't have anything to... Um, to really illustrate what we've been doing on COVID times and what we are actually thinking of doing for our entrepreneurs. But let's say we um, we have been uh, trying to be active on three level. First one and um, the main one is on the regional level. Then on the national level a bit and European, we are less a bit less active, but we will try to be. So um, uh, just the uh, same as, our, uh, as my colleague from Vilnius, we have also launched surveys uh, since the beginning of the lockdown to see what was the impact of, on the COVID on our communities and our ecosystem in the period. And um, that also um, made us uh, gather information on what we could do to help them. And so we have adapted our business support programs and our um, um accelerators to really include their needs in them and really support them in this um in, in this uh, trouble time uh, however as a as a public uh, as a provider of public services ourselves we cannot really finance directly uh, enterprise but uh, we've been really working hard so that every of our um supported uh, enterprise was redirected towards existing financing financing schemes um, for uh, emitted either by a metropolitan authority, regional or national authority. Um, we also have um, a strong um, ambition towards space and providing spaces for the cultural and creative entrepreneurs. Uh, we believe that this is very important for uh, the recovery as well, and also that this space will be shifting uh, in as times moves on, especially that co-working spaces and such um, spaces in the city, we have to maybe rethink them in the light of the COVID. And so as an urban planner, we will be also able to develop other spaces specifically dedicated to creativity or uh, creative work and entrepreneurs. And so um, we are really now thinking in a prospective way uh, how to develop a large piece of um, abandoned warehouses we have and turn them into equipment for artists and cultural entrepreneurs. So um, on the regional level, what we are really working on now is uh, to structure uh, a regional network around the cultural and creative, 
creative industries. So we are working hand in hand with our regional authorities that have, they, are, they have granted us this capacity to pilot a new regional uh, network, so the region Pays de la Loire. And so um, this will um, have several objectives. So first of all, it will help the relevant actors to recognize themselves and maybe um, uh, gain in visibility. So that is something that is, uh, has been missing uh, in, um, in this uh, respect in, in the regional area. So technopoles or large cultural and creative companies or existing networks, smaller ones, or also business support cooperatives that might also exist in the cultural sector. Uh, this uh, will help really gather and um, harmonize existing support offer for these uh, for the cultural and creative industries and also uh, what we have been a witness is that there were uh, financial financial schemes from the regional authority also um, uh, during COVID time but actually they did not spend at all because um, uh, the entrepreneurs did not all ask for it because they weren't aware of that and so this will help really to um, to um, let's say to to make them known to uh, every entrepreneurs and really support them in that sense and so we will be piloting this network but really also jointly with them um, uh, with all relevant actors around the, the regional area so I'll move forward um, uh, uh, on the national level so we've been um, also involved in discussion groups that started before COVID time, but that since incorporated COVID uh, themes and, and questions and, um, and, uh, and constraints. So we were involved in what is called the Assise de Design. So there were um, a large consultation national level around the, uh, the, the design sector. And so um, um, all of this led to working groups and uh, priorities that were emitted for the development of the sector. So this started before COVID time, but um, that will be uh, continued and um, <clears throat> there will be, a, let's say, a continuity with this working group and maybe the setting up of a larger council or working group on a national level incorporating this um, um the, the the themes that emerge from the uh, from the large consultation and uh, there there is no financing yet uh um evoked or mentioned but there will be probably the setting up of a group that is that will be jointly led by um two ministries in france two public ministries and so they will dedicate um, you know uh, time for for this question um now uh on um uh the, on we are really focusing now on regional and national level more than european because um the response the financial response has come uh sooner on this uh, level and so um the national authority the french uh, state also admitted uh, that they were going to be uh, financing for the cultural sector so they promised two billions that will be um and uh, involved in the in the recovery plan and so uh, also um, there will be a large effort with 1400 millions which is called the uh, investment of the future it's a french uh, plan and uh, that will be really strictly dedicated to the cultural and creative industries so there is a strong focus in the national uh, plan for the cultural and creative industries and we are really um, trying to to see how we can redirect them towards us and towards the, the room, all the creative and cultural entrepreneurs in the regional area. And so on a European level, we've been a bit less uh, active, uh, but we'll be um, trying, of course, um, to really check what we, what would be the opportunities for cooperation projects, because we are still we're very much looking for this and developing the cooperation of our ecosystems uh, with um, transnational and international partners. And um, and we'll be studying uh, the EU policy uh, soon. Okay, I think that was clear enough because it wasn't illustrated. But um, I think I'm uh, I'm done. Lucy, I think it was very very well explained. Congratulations for everything that you are doing, and. Um, 
we will come back to you later on, the, right. on the dialogue uh, phase. Okay, so um, thank you, Monsieur Bokup. And now it's time to welcome David uh, Gal, Gal Rechnier. Uh, so David, uh, should I give you the presentation right? Yeah. Okay. Then. Okay, do you see my yes. presentation? Yes, yes, we can see the PowerPoint. And now? Now it's perfect. Go on, please. Okay. Thank you. So, on the contrary, on my uh, colleague, uh, I, I'm not working for an ICC uh, cluster. Um, I'm a uh, technical manager, contents and news. Uh, in Minalogic, and uh, Minalogic is a global innovation cluster for digital technology uh, serving France over the Monarch region. So that means that we are we are thinking more about the innovation and the digital technologies innovations. Uh, we are uh, divided into uh, four main uh, strategic domains: micro nano electronics, photonics, software, and the last one. Uh, which I represent is contents and uses. Uh, why is this particularity uh, in Minalogic is due to uh, the integration of the uh, other competitiveness uh, cluster in France uh, in uh, Auvergne Rhône Alpes, uh, which was called Imaginov, and uh, this cluster was dedicated to the ICC especially. Uh, so uh, I, I was the former uh, general manager of Imaginov and now I'm, uh, I've integrated Minalogic. So that may explain my, uh, my presentation today. So I have a vision of what ICC is, but now I have more focus on how to help these uh, industries by, uh, uh, by innovation. I, I try to follow the, the questions that uh, we uh, we have uh, uh, at, uh, to, to prepare the, the presentation. So uh, to, to illustrate uh, on which objective name in the recovery plan is the cluster working uh, and uh, with uh, whom, uh, as you may uh, uh, um, guess, uh, Minologic is not uh, directly uh, uh, concerned by uh, the recovery line for the ICC. So uh, uh, as the COVID uh, arrived, we, uh, we, uh, we just, if I may say, inform or refer to uh, the, the right people for the member of our cluster who wanted to, uh, to have some information uh, concerning the, the, uh, the fundings or the, uh, any uh, kind of help they can have to, uh, to, uh, to face uh, the situation. Uh, we try to, uh, to share some feedbacks from our members with other uh, equivalent uh, members in, uh, in Minalogic. Uh, so we, we are linked uh, uh, with uh, the French government and especially for the ICC with uh, CNC, the Centre National du Cinéma de l'Image Animée, which is uh, with the Ministry of Culture responsible for the recovery plan of, uh, for the ICC. Uh, we have a very strong uh, relationship with uh, the region, uh, Auvergne Rhône Alpes too, and with the uh, main uh, town in, uh, in, uh, in Auvergne Rhône Alpes, uh, like uh, Lyon and Grenoble. Uh, it may be interesting for uh, for some aspects. Uh, yesterday we are uh, we uh, organized, for example, the uh, public uh, purchases uh, for for Grenoble. So we we can drive some activities or some markets uh, driven by the the local communities, for example. Uh, in order to answer to the next question, which policy instrument does the cluster use to support the recovery and if industrial ecosystem? We, uh, we don't have no new instruments now. Uh, and paradoxically and logically, uh, we have uh, we had an increase of activity in uh, in the cluster during the, the COVID period, uh, during the lockdown. Uh, uh, because uh, 
people don't have any, any activities or less activity and they uh, spend more time to uh, to rethink their job and to uh, to reopen some uh, project uh, especially innovation project to uh, to get some fundings for uh, a middle or long term so we uh, we had to face uh, with uh, an increase of uh, innovation project and uh, we, uh, we we try to add them and to uh, to focus on the uh, uh, more specialized uh, tools for the icc when uh, a creative industry uh, actor come to uh, to us uh, in parallel, we uh, we have now in the fourth uh, phases of the uh, competitiveness uh, cluster in France, uh, one orientation which is uh, imposed by the government, which is to uh, to develop the European activity and to uh, to help our members and to get ourselves uh, to the to the European funding. So we we develop this uh, activity in turn. To uh, to uh, to make what we do actually, or for uh, for 15 years now uh, in uh, uh, for uh, regional or national uh, calls. Now we try to uh, to develop the, uh, the European uh, orientation of our members and of the cluster. Okay. So. Uh, yeah. For the, 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 the last two uh, questions, uh, I would like first to, uh, to, uh, to, to, to make some remarks. Uh, the first one is uh, really uh, is really over. Uh, I try to, to make a, historic, uh, a little historic. Uh, we have the feeling that the, the, the crisis is not really over and we are quite uh, in situation of uh, close to the the, the, the period of uh, of lockdown, so it can be uh, you know, important to to have that in mind to to understand which consequences we can uh, imagine or uh, think about uh, because of this uh, specific or unknown crisis. Uh, can we uh, can we come back to uh, to the original situation? So uh, can we relaunch the activity like before, or do we have to uh, to reinforce some uh, trends like virtualization, like uh, uh, video platform, and so on and so on? Uh, do we have to to uh, to reveal new uh, new activity which were uh, which were uh, in uh, under one or weak signals? So and develop new strategy. Or do we have to uh, to rethink the system at all and create new technology or new way of, of working? Uh, one uh, feeling we have too is that uh, there is a, a quite difficult uh, trilogy to to manage now in this transition. Uh, we have uh, the feeling that technology may be the solution, but we have uh, quite. Uh, uh, um, a disagreement of the population with this technology or the, with a technological approach. Uh, we are we have some uh, constraints for the environment, but uh, when we observe the uh, evolution of the situation, we consume more video, which is uh, not very ecological, and we have to uh, to include uh, more people. But the situation is quite developing the. Uh, to the exclusion. So we have to, to think uh, to have this in mind too. Um, the, the second remark is uh, the definition of, of the ICC, to, ICC per, uh, perimeter, uh, excuse me. Uh, which uh, sector do, uh, do we uh, speak about? Uh, I, I won't develop that, but uh, as you may know, every uh, sector of activities has. Uh, 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 has not uh, uh, made the, the same experience of the, the COVID and now uh, has not the, the same uh, difficulties to, to, to develop the, his activity. So I illustrate with, uh, with some uh, uh, big uh, difference between uh, activities based on face-to-face -face economy, like visiting museum and monuments or attending concerts and cinema. Uh, or activities based on digital activities like video games or video on demand, 
which have uh, developed their, uh, their business. Uh, by the, uh, moreover, in uh, each uh, sector of activity in this uh, ICC parameter, uh, people are not affected by uh, the, the COVID at the same level. Uh, creative people are more touched than uh, technology supplier, I think. Uh, uh, and the last uh, point and I, I want to, to evoke is uh, uh, institutional duality between uh, uh, culture and industry. Uh, we, we, uh, we speak about industry, uh, from cultural and creative industry, but we, have, uh, we, we still have the, 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 the dichotomy between uh, these both uh, approach. Uh, for example, our media with uh, Horizon Europe. Uh, we have the Economic Ministry and uh, the Ministry of Culture too. So we have to, uh, to, to make a balance between these two kind of, uh, of opportunities. But in, uh, in reality, all the people working in the same ecosystem and uh, 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 face, uh, they, have, they have to face the same problem. So, I've illustrated the, the difference in impact. I, I take uh, some uh, information from the uh, study from the government to, uh, to illustrate the, the, the difference. Uh, I won't develop this uh, now. We can uh, come back to, uh, uh, after if you want, but it's to, uh, to illustrate the, the, the difference of uh, impact, uh, other positive or negative for some industries. So uh, I will finish my presentation with some ideas, perhaps. Uh, um, the, the first one is to uh, is quite linked uh, with uh, what I said before. Uh, I think we don't uh, consider the ICC as a full-fledged industries. Uh, I mean that uh, we. Uh, we separate always uh, this kind of industry with the traditional industry, manufacturing, aeronautics, and so on. And I think it's quite uh, it's quite a problem because we uh, we we keep uh, this uh, distinction, and especially in France, between what is cultural and what is uh, industrial. But uh, concretely, when I speak uh, ICC, that means logic. I speak innovation, I speak process, I speak uh, new technology, and it's quite uh, frustrating to, uh, to not to see any reference to uh, uh, ICC in, uh, in some uh, European call, uh, or so few. Uh, the second point is more a question. Uh, as, um, as a director, as a um, uh, member of the name initiative, which is a meta cluster for the media, uh, I'm quite uh, uh, um, uh, I ask to myself a, a lot of questions about uh, which uh, synergy we can create with uh, the European uh, Broadcast Union, for example, with uh, some pro European program like uh, uh, Next Generation uh, uh, Internet. Uh, so can, how can we create some uh, synergy or movement uh, together with this uh, kind of uh, meta cluster or association, European association? Um, uh, the, the third uh, question I asked to myself it was uh, about Euro news or some typical uh, European uh, colorized uh, uh, companies. How can we uh, integrate them in the, uh, in the reflection or the, in the uh, movement to, uh, to innovate and to, uh, to, uh, to uh, relaunch uh, the activity? Uh, I have the same question for the big company. Uh, I think, uh, for example, Ubisoft, because we have two uh, studio of Ubisoft uh, in our uh, region. Um, and uh, the next one was more about uh, the European strategy concerning uh, film studio or some new uh, experimental uh, uh, area or place like Dome and Planetarium, uh, we are, uh, which are migrating to uh, uh, 
some experimental uh, approach like your living lab or a new uh, kind of mediation to, to create link between people and uh, enterprises in, uh, in their, in their uh, infrastructure. Um, I'm also uh, involved in, uh, in the space industry. Uh, uh, but uh, it's quite interesting to, uh, to, to make a parallel because uh, ESA, the European Space uh, Association, has developed a, uh, an incubator and accelerator network uh, for the new space ecosystem. Uh, I think it could be a very good idea to, uh, to make that uh, more visible or to, to, uh, to, to generate this, this approach uh, to all the uh, European countries. Uh, another point for me is more uh, to, to develop uh, inside the uh, inside the, um, the core uh, some uh, mandatory criteria about uh, uh, the justification of uh, uh, user centric innovation. User centric innovation. Uh, excuse me. Uh, so, uh, how uh, do we uh, prove that the technology we want to develop is uh, an answer to the to the people or the, to the workers? Uh, I think we have to to think uh, green code too. Uh, for example, and uh, it's uh, another point I will uh, discuss uh, after. But uh, video is the main content now and uh, compression, decompression, uh, use of uh, development of new uh, soft, uh, need to develop some software and so on. So uh, to, to have a green code approach may make uh, some, uh, uh, spare some uh, uh, time and performance for the, uh, increase the performance of the, of the software of the, uh, the system. Um, uh, I think we have to, to integrate too uh, in the product life cycle uh, the, the, the ability to recycling process. So how can we, uh, for example, if we develop new product for the ICC, how we develop the, this recycling process in order to, to make more uh, efficient the, the, the product life cycle. Uh, and so on, and to develop more, uh, to, uh, to have more exigence about the environmental impact of the project. Uh, for example, in France, we have the EcoPod uh, for shooting, who gives some uh, uh, advices and uh, uh, contact to, uh, to, uh, to make uh, shooting more uh, ecologic. Uh, another aspect I would like to, to evoke with you is a uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, design seeking approach, which is uh, the, the de uh, design fiction. Uh, it's, it's quite interesting because we have two, uh, two ways to think about design fiction. It's a methodology to, uh, to develop uh, innovation by uh, having a prospective uh, uh, vision of what is the cinema tomorrow in two years, three years, uh, five years, for example. And the second one is, uh, is a way that uh, the ICC may have a great impact for the designer who use uh, the design fiction tools or methodology. Because uh, the, uh, when we think design fiction, we, uh, we, we make a prospection by, uh, uh, by scenarization. So we can use video, we can use uh, digital comics and so on. So uh, it's quite an opportunity to, to work with designer and to, uh, to integrate uh, some uh, uh, technology coming from the, the ICC. Uh, and by extension, I think we have to develop more the interaction between the industrial cultural and uh, the cultural and creative industries and the traditional industry because they have some uh, you know, topics in common in common uh, like the, uh, to, to think uh, the digital uh, pipeline uh, I often say that we we can compare uh, the way we uh, produce uh, animation movie and how we produce uh, uh, car for example we need to have some uh, 3d assets at the beginning and we have to uh, final product uh, at the end and we have some different uh, steps to uh, uh, to fulfill to in order to uh, to uh, 
to uh, to uh, to pass from this uh, 3D uh, 3D object to the to the final product. Uh, we have to think about the, the standard and interoperability uh, is uh, in the same uh, spirit uh, of what I said about pipelines. Uh, USD, for example, is a universe in uh, description, which is uh, an open source standard from uh, the animation uh, 3D uh, uh, ecosystem. And we have some standards uh, in the industry with uh, uh, with the CAD industry. Um, and uh, I think uh, some uh, uh, creative and cultural industry have to perhaps share or divide their activities in two sides. Uh, one more for the creation of contents and one for the uh, uh, proposing some services to uh, other uh, sector of activity. Uh, there, there is a lot of convergence with uh, EdTech, for example. Uh, I speak uh, about new space because new space uh, is uh, the, the sector of activity who want to develop some application from the uh, European, uh, the big European project like Copernicus or Galileo, which generate a lot of uh, kind of data. Uh, Satellite, uh, satellite imagery, for example, who may be used uh, for creating a, a game, a video game, for example, or for creating a, a documentary and so on. Digital Twins uh, is a great uh, uh, illustration of the convergence between the game engine uh, for the industry. And uh, as we saw uh, with Samoa, a smart city may be uh, a very uh, great place to, to innovate for the, for the ICC. And perhaps to redefine how events may be managed in, uh, in order to develop uh, not only the center of the town, but, always the, uh, but uh, also the, the suburb. And to finish, uh, as I said before, I think uh, video and the problematic around video is a key uh, subject now. Um, as you uh, as you know, uh, the, the most of the flow uh, of internet is uh, is used by video streaming. Uh, the, the COVID period has developed uh, uh, the. the um, consumption of uh, uh, video uh, movies and uh, video games and so on. Uh, we uh, developed some uh, new way of working by uh, uh, video conferences uh, like now. Uh, and so there is a real topic about uh, what kind uh, video bring to, uh, to the ICC and what ICC may bring to, uh, to the uh, kind of new technology. And uh, the second part is perhaps uh, derivative of what uh, is a video now is more the uh, virtual reality. We may bring some uh, complementary uh, uh, aspects, for example, for an event or for uh, for a meeting. Uh, and the, the the last part uh, in this uh, technology uh, approach is more linked to, to audio, like a new interface to, to develop and to integrate more uh, largely. And uh, I think there is a lot of opportunity for that uh, because of uh, real reality with uh, 3D uh, sound or binaural uh, sound, for example, because we have uh, some connected uh, uh, objects uh, who are managed by, uh, by voice. So we have to, to think about the voice user interface and so on. Um, and and to, to complete what I said before, uh, I think uh, by developing this uh, real uh, opportunity, we can develop some new uses for other uh, sector of activity, like events, like uh, professional and social communication, telemedicine, uh, education, and so on. And the last point, and I just illustrate this point by uh, three uh, uh, local uh, companies. I think we have to uh, to identify who are the uh, main actors, the new uh, innovative actors. Uh, I uh, just uh, took uh, technological uh, uh, solution because uh, 
uh, well, for Minalogic and there are members of Minalogic, but uh, for example, can they view uh, um, as a volumetric uh, video capture system? Uh, Fatis Lab uh, uh, offer uh, uh, ICC project management and uh, Nukegara is a 3D animation software. So we have some competencies. Uh, I think we have to, to share this visibility of our um, member actors in Europe to, uh, to not to, uh, to reinvent uh, the, the wheel. I hope that I, I, uh, I was clear enough. Because my well, English is David, congratulations for your presentation. You were not only clear, but very, very, um, uh, your presentation was very detailed and very well structured. So, congratulations. I have learned a lot about your industry and, and your ideas and proposals are, are for me. Are, are very convincing. So thank you. Congratulations again. We don't have many time for discussion. In fact, we don't have any time at all. But I think it makes sense to give uh, you the opportunity to to have some questions or comments if you want. Uh, we will extend the session at five ten minutes if you don't mind. And and uh, so uh, I just want to share very very quickly some data from the ECCP, the European uh, uh, Cluster Correlation Platform, on clusters on, on this area, on the creative industries. I don't know if Marek is there and would like to comment, or I can do that if not. Yeah, yeah, yeah yes, it, I, I'm here. But I think the, 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 thank you very much for all, all this presentation and, and particularly the the, the the last one with all uh, suggestions, uh, very concrete. Uh, w w what comes to, to my mind is that uh, very often the creative industries is 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 uh, thought in in our policies as uh, something which is. Uh, in addition, it's not in the main. You, you, you talk about steel. You talk about the, uh, you know, uh, the traditional industries, textile, and creative industries is maybe too much, uh, uh, not 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 thought as mainstream, but but extremely important role in, in in innovation. I mean, all this what what you were saying is is basis for innovation. So. Uh, I, I think this cross-cutting integration in all our activities is something that inspired me from your presentations. Thank you very much. So, uh, industrial clusters, you, you see 197 industrial clusters uh, we, we, we have uh, in Europe. Um, I don't know, but, but th th these are um, some, some uh, creative industries in this. I don't think that we have this, this slide on creative industries, now here, Antonio. Uh, because it's uh, it, 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 it's not the, the, the right one, uh, but okay, I, I I don't have the one well, anyway. Uh, we, we will not have uh, this. We are we are going to uh, re uh, relaunch the European Cluster Collaboration Platform and then uh, profiles of the clusters. And I think uh, because the creative industries will be ecosystem separate ecosystem, it it is the occasion right now to. To make uh, to make really visible this this ecosystem, and so um, so so I, I think in in all other sectors, you know, the very traditional sectoral policies, this was uh, very much uh, underestimated. I would agree uh, with this. So um, th thank you. This is what I wanted to to, to comment on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Marek. So. Uh, any comment or question from the rest of the attendants or between yourself, if you want, um, David, Lucy, Romanas? That's for me. No, I actually just would like to express uh, uh, the opinion that, uh, that I absolutely agree with uh, insights and ideas of David because uh, we also moving forward to the expanding our activities from filming to all the new medias. And, uh, and we think that uh, the future of audiovisual, of course, is just crossing all these industries and uh, searching for the, new, um, for the new sales channels and for new forms of, uh, of um, 
collaboration between uh, the audiovisual industries and uh, and IT industries as well. So we are all about innovation because uh, we use the uh, in very innovative equipment to to create our new products. And so uh, I think the Europe uh, just uh, under, underestimate our our potential, uh, and uh, that's why we should. Uh, actually uh, show our voice uh, more often and and say that we are not uh, just a culture and not just the creators but we are very innovative uh, with very uh, smart thinking and uh, david david just proved it so thank you may, may i just add because uh, we, we had these meetings in ecosystem across uh, and and i see how n n now it works as well with policy making and uh, i i've noticed that the the, the, the less organized the, the 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 constituencies are the the the, the more difficult it is to uh, to, to pass the to, to to gain the space in the policy making and 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 get into the attention of uh, to 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 have policy instruments which which fit for purpose, uh, so 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 my, my my point is, the more scattered, uh, the more uh, granular, and, and, and small entities which in creative industries are. Eh? So so the, 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 as long as you don't create the the the, the, the scope and uh, the, the scope and, and and of clusters which could be really powerful to to present the positions. I think uh, through European Glass Alliance, th there is a chance to to integrate this community in order to have a voice, strong, very voice, uh, in order to be really um, to to be heard, yeah? to be heard. And and, and uh, the, 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 the issue is then then w w when people are starting in a very scattered manner, then the the the, the, the people either at regional, national, or, or or European level, they can't see them as uh, partners for discussion. And so, so, so I think that in this creative, you know, the, fir the first uh, thing that is coming to me is, is to integrate the, the, the whole, to have really position uh, voice, and, and, and to, to because, because I mean the, the, the presentations you did today is very cl clearly lots of things, uh, and may I mean you know very uh, exactly what what you said. We, we cannot uh, live without this, uh, but I think uh, in the policy making sphere to to pass through. In order to make to, to have relevant uh, instruments coming from the public public uh, support, then, then integration of this community, cluster community in creative industries, could be helpful. Look at the the, the uh, aerospace yeah, when they integrated very okay, the, but but I, I don't think you, 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 you from the money and job creation point of view you you are much uh, m m m much worse not at all. Yeah? So, but, but I think in in terms of uh, policy making messages passing and a, a, being able to to get the policy instruments back, I think this is the this is something that we, we, we can we can work on. Um, and and I, I know this is not if you're a, a business and doing an SME. What, what I'm saying is quite um, maybe uh, distant, but uh, I, 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 this is what I wanted to share as my my impression. Uh, that you know, if you want to make uh, really uh, the the mark, then uh, integration of the communities needs to have the clear position uh, in, in in space to have a position uh, heard. Uh, thank you. I totally agree with Marek. Uh, you know, we we have been working on different position papers from the alliance. In fact, we are going to discuss one next Friday, but uh, uh, I think that, and you have a lot of capacities to to create contents and to sell ideas, okay? But it's true that uh, I don't know why you are shy on your uh, efforts to uh, make, uh, um, to defend your uh, ideas, to, to, to create a kind of, uh, a lobby communication paper or I don't know video if you want okay so the 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 proposal will, will be to try to organize something together okay the European Cluster Alliance can be your uh, umbrella if you want or not okay but 
it makes sense to uh, to order and to organize all those uh, messages in a common uh, common paper if you want okay that is a proposal for you we cannot do that you should do that okay but uh, as we said um, you are a lot of uh, uh, clusters across Europe and um, perhaps you organizing yourself at the European level you could reach for better um, better uh, results or better uh, pro better calls if you want okay better, better funding opportunities what did you see good morning good morning I'm Aurora um, I'm a bit confused about how to involve all the um, activities that are uh, under this this kind of of, uh, of concepts of creating and innovating because I think that on the uh, traditionally called creative industries like fashion, cinema, theater, etc., it's clear. Um, maybe on some of the uh, companies that uh, do marketing services, it's also clear. But most of the innovation and most of the activities similar to those that David um, exposed, and, and yes, they are creative, <laughs> are on uh, the other companies. I mean, most of the companies, to survive, they have uh, their... Um, their teams to innovate, be it on the technological side or on the marketing side or everywhere, because if you are not creative on everything you do and innovative on everything you do, you die. Uh, so how do we consider um, these activities uh, spread as they are? I mean, if uh, to support those activities, uh, we should not only support the companies that were created to do that, but also uh, the parts of the other companies that have to exist to survive. Uh, I give an example. On my company, we are a small, very, very small company that is only leaving the startup uh, status. Uh, part of our marketing team decided to leave, to create their own company, to do only this kind of things. And they, they, they also service us. <laughs> um, but if they did not decide, there was not this company. They would do the same work still within the, the, a technological company that uh, is not focused on on serving creative industries, but it's, it is creative every day. Marek was speaking about uh, uh, space. We also had an award for being really innovative on space industries, but we are not uh, on this cluster. We are on the te technological cluster. So it's, it's a little bit confused. And I think that uh, to help on this uh, side of being creative, we should focus on all the ecosystems, because even in construction, we need to um, do better housing and do better buildings. So constru construction has to be innovative Every, everywhere. If we're not innovative, uh, we die. I think it was Lucia that Lucy that showed a, a road that uh, has fo photovoltaic uh, panels. Uh, that is really creative. I mean, if you don't do new things in a new way, you die. In fact, that that is under the umbrella of this of this uh, entity, but it could be on, under the umbrella of someone who is only technological and does does those new things. So I'm really confused, but happy, <laughs> really happy to see that this is coming out. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I would say that uh, creative, uh, the creative uh, and cultural industries are kind of uh, cross-sectoral because creativity must be applied to every sector. And I see that Patrick is commenting that has a strong relationship with industry photos zero. Patrick, will you comment? Yes, good morning. 
Morning, Patrick. No, no, I think it's clear when we are working with David as, and on, the, on the matter to, to connect this, all these uh, tools and uh, um, in, with, with regard to um, a uh, new way to for education for uh, implementing digital technology in companies so i think th there is a it's a it's a part particular scope but uh, there is a, a strong opportunities especially today uh, uh, following the, the covid crisis and the new way of working and um, but uh, it's really a, it's a cross sectoral uh, and a cross link uh, we we could work on in the in the next months to especially to, towards the SMEs that are not, full. of course, large companies are very well aware and they are, they are investing uh, augmented reality and, and other uh, technology of this kind. Uh, they, they develop contents, but uh, we could really uh, uh, emphasize, emphasize uh, this, this, this link between creative industry and uh, let's say manufacturing industry in particular. Yeah. Well, to complete uh, what say uh, my uh, regional colleague, um, we have to think about uh, generation too. Uh, if we think, uh, uh, sorry, if we think technology, uh, just an example. Uh, today, my uh, my daughter use uh, the their phones to send audio message. They don't call their friends. It's a great difference. Is uh, they use a TikTok to uh, to share some video about that thing. Uh, they they uh, they used to uh, to manage video uh, very uh, young, uh, and I think it will determine how we will use the new technology tomorrow. Uh, I, I consider I'm too old already for to uh, to. Uh, to know about how uh, this content will be used by uh, the next generation. So we have to, uh, to, uh, to be conscious, uh, aware of that, uh, I think. And the second point is that uh, I think that uh, ICC determine more and more uh, the way we uh, create interface. Uh, the, the main, uh, uh, example for me was uh, when uh, Apple developed the uh, iPhone uh, user interface. It determined a, data, a standard for every uh, mobile in industry. Uh, tomorrow, uh, video games will determine how we will make a uh, user interface. Perhaps, uh, uh, by the way, we, uh, we, uh, we manage the screen, or by the way, we, we manage some uh, tools to, uh, to, uh, for uh, virtual reality or any kind of uh, uh, way to, uh, to manage uh, a game. Because a lot of people, a lot of young people uh, are, uh, are playing video games and they integrate uh, the code from video games. Totally agree. And uh, the references that you are giving us is, are very, very clear. So I think it's time to close, but you have a challenge in your hands. So you think that you can, you can uh, work on a common declaration? Could it be uh, delivered to all the creativity clusters across Europe and perhaps we could uh, achieve uh, dozens or even more than 100 signing it. Who will do that? It's in your hands, okay? But this is the proposal. And uh, Marek, Marek is uh, totally right. Uh, if you have a clear message, if you are um, strong on the uh, European Commission, um, we we could we could achieve far more results from them. Okay, so it's in your hands. I don't know. Think about it if you want. Okay. Thank you. We are at your disposal. If you want, we we can help you. Okay. If you want, we can uh, take care of uh, contacting with uh, 
people in the European Commission or in some areas, okay? But uh, but we need to have something to to deliver them, okay? Okay, okay thank you, Antonio. We we'll think about. It. Please. Thank you and thank you, bye. have a very very nice day. Bye. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, all. Thank you very much.